Hello, Sun Devil fans. Uh, practice 14 wrapped up today. Uh, you know, felt really, really good about it. I tell you, I'm excited about our football team. Uh, you know, we uh, we had some guys. Obviously, we held out of spring. You know, with Middlebrooks and uh, and with Cam, and uh, you know, had some bumps and bruises for the most part. Though we got through uh, uh, pretty healthy. Uh, we got the big screen, the spring game uh, Saturday at one o'clock. Want to invite you guys to come out. It's going to be an exciting time to really get these guys in in really a true game atmosphere. Uh, with fans uh, and, you know, and the clock running and all that good stuff. So, uh, uh, you know, we, we had a great uh, practice today. We hit some big bombs. You know, uh, Berkovici hit uh, Ross on a big bomb. But a big emphasis these last few practices on, on our passing game and thought that Ross really improved and, and had some guys that st step up, uh, you know, Chambers, uh, Holmes, uh, guys that uh, – uh, you know that that uh, were, were kind of developing slower. Uh, they got a chance to catch some balls and really develop. Thought all three quarterbacks had a very productive spring. I'm really anxious to see those guys in the spring game. And uh, it was an exciting time today, earlier today, to announce um, our return to Camp Tanazona and and um, something that we think is very very important. You know, tradition I think is one of the great things about college football. And I know our our Letterman. Uh, uh, Coach Cush, uh, Danny White, uh, all the, the the great lettermen that I've talked to, uh, that, that's such an important tradition, you know, Tim, uh, to our program. And I can't wait to see the fans up on the hill. Uh, I can't wait to uh, uh, sing the fight song, uh, you know, and, and, and watch those newcomers in there singing the fight song. I can't can't wait to send somebody up Mount Cush. You I think know? you're more excited about giving <laughs> up your cell phone. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about the giving up the cell phone, not having cell phone and, and internet. I, I spend a lot of time on that uh, because of you and making me uh, recruit and make calls. Uh, you know, we uh, we spend a lot of time on that stuff, but it, it's an exciting day. It's been an exciting week. I, I encourage everybody to to get out there and, and buy season tickets. Uh, this is going to be an exciting football team to watch. We've made great stride this this spring and established our identity. And uh, obviously, we got a lot of work to go. That's the reality of it. We're going to have to win a lot of close football games. And we need every one of you in, in, in that in that uh, stadium and packing it up. And you know, Tim, uh, talk a little bit about the pigskin palooza and having the students out here today. Well, it was fun today. We had uh, an opportunity. You know, part of the foundation of our program, as you well know, is uh, uh, giving back. And uh, this is something we talked about earlier this year. We had our youth experience and had a tremendous a turnout of youth, uh, eight to 13 years of age. And today. We wanted to connect, and as we talk all the time, that being a part, we're a part of a major university here, and our students are truly student athletes, and we wanted them to connect with our student body, and they did. They had a great time. We had a group small over at campus there today, and they're out there passing, throwing. Coach Graham was actually coaching up the kickers out there. <laughs> uh, some of the kicking shoes they had on they looked like uh, the cheer squad had the, yeah. the cheer shoes on, but uh, it was fun to see that. And our players, you know, I think like typically everything we do with our guys uh, you know, they come out and they, they had a great time with it and, and realizing that these students are very, very important to us and they're part of a, a major uh, uh, university. Yeah, and I think that's the thing too. Th th this is their football team. You know, the students, the faculty, the staff, the fans. Uh, this is your team. We represent them. And I think it's important. It's hard to get in the stands and cheer for someone you don't know anything yeah. about or, or maybe that don't represent, uh, you know, what, what this university is all about. And this university is an incredible place. Uh, when I look at it, obviously, when I, uh, you know, think of ASU, you think of excellence. Uh, you, you think of, uh, uh, you know, a, a place that is uh, on uh, unique, dynamic, on the cutting edge. And uh, obviously, I think the most important thing about the college experience is relationship. And that's what today was all about. That's why we've been out, you know, you and I have been visiting with fans and students and uh, uh, supporters, uh, uh, and especially the students are important to us uh, because, uh, you know, that's what affects the game day atmosphere more than anything else is that student section. And it was great to see them out there running around, tackling the dummies, throwing the balls. That, that's, that's some old girls run some pretty good seven cuts out there. Yeah, they they threw a couple of vertical passes out there, and, and it's great for our players to interact with them and to know who they represent and to know, you know, that, that this is how blessed they are to get to do what they do. Well, they had a lot of fun, and, and I've been with Coach for the last three months, and I think we his goal was to shake 74,000 hands, and I think we're getting a little bit closer we're this week. We're probably halfway there. Well, we, we <laughs> hit a bunch of them this week. I, we had a great experience this week with uh, going over to speak to uh, Barrett Business School. Honors uh, College was awesome the other right. day to see those bright young people there, and then to the Cary uh, Business School as well. They had opportunity. So, you know, we're reaching out, and uh, we're going to continue to do so. Yeah, it, it was exciting, and you know, now it's time to, to, to go to work. And one of the things that we want our fans to know 
uh, no one's going to work harder, and we're going to put the best recruiting class together that's ever been signed here at, at ASU in 2013, and we're going to start right here locally doing it. Uh, and uh, our coaches now will hit the spring, we'll have a spring game, and then they'll hit the road Monday uh, out recruiting. And uh, Tim, talk about that a yeah, little bit. Yeah, this process. is an old recruiting guy that I had. I, I, I cut my teeth on uh, cutting uh, coach, uh, recruiting. And it's exciting to me as being a former recruiting coordinator that we talk about recruiting every day. And uh, if we don't talk about it, somebody's going to bring it up because it's very, very important to us. It's, and so our goal, and it will happen, we're going to have the best recruiting class in the history of Arizona State football. And it starts right here in our community. Uh, I, I was very, very happy to know when I moved here to Arizona, the quality of student athletes in this area, football players, outstanding group of guys. So our goal is to connect with these young men in this area and then, of course, the state and then work our way out. So starting Monday, actually Sunday, our coaches will be on the road. We can actually have seven coaches on the road at one time, so seven of the ten. I wish the rules would permit for Coach Graham to go out because I know he'd be all over the place, oh, but the it. rules don't permit that. Uh, he's probably one of the few head coaches that would like to change that rule. But uh, our coaches will be out. Uh, they'll be out um, uh, Sunday through, actually Monday through uh, Saturday, going to all the high schools, and we'll hit every high school in the state of Arizona. Uh, in fact, this Friday, uh, Coach Graham and, and Coach Norvell and Coach Randolph will be featured speakers at the Arizona Football High School Coaches Association meetings on Friday evening. So another opportunity for us to connect. We'll spend two weeks in the road, then we'll come back off the road. We'll spend a week in the office evaluating tape, evaluating uh, information on transcripts, and, and doing our character background checks on all those guys because that's so important to us. And then we'll go back out for another two weeks. So. Uh, we'll rotate that, and this is an extremely critical time for us because it's this time is where we're evaluating these potential prospects for Arizona State University. Well, I'll tell you, you know, the spring game's big uh, this weekend. I really want our fans to come out for it. Uh, obviously, a lot, all of our signees, I think, will be there. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, we'll have a lot of, uh, you know, the, the people we're recruiting uh, that will be here uh, in the spring game is going to be exciting to kind of have a first look at what all we're about. And, you know, I, one of the things that's my goal and my, my you know, what I want to be doing is, is, is here, in, here in a year from now or two years from now, you know, uh, as soon as we can do it, uh, be, be standing in the tunnel in Pasadena at the Rose Bowl and have 50, 60 kids from this valley, the best, the brightest, with the best character, the toughest players right here fixing to run down that ramp. I think that will, that will create something that uh, will be very, very special. I think it means more uh, to the young men that, uh, that go to school and play here in this state uh, to run out of this tunnel at the State University. And uh, so we're, I'm excited about it. That's the plan, the vision. But we need each and every fan uh, to be out there. And we, we need, we, we're asking for your support. It's your team. Uh, I need ever all hands on deck, getting on board, buying those season tickets. Let's fill this stadium up. Uh, and, and everybody doing their part. If we'll do that, I guarantee we can accomplish something great. So looking forward to the spring game, and uh, go Devils.